I got a comment the other day that said, do you ever give a 10 to a property? This one is for you. If you're new to the channel, it's pretty simple. They tell you three things I like about it, three things I don't like about the property. In today's video, I'm gonna review 1028, 1028 Ridgedale Drive, Beverly Hills 90210, 12 bedroom, 18 bathroom, 24,325, listed for $85 million, sits on over an acre of flat land. All right, three things I love about this property. Number three, architectural style. Now you're thinking pillars, you Persian. Stop judging me. Look, this is Georgian style. The pillars that you're talking about is that some of my friends have put on mid-century homes in Truesdale. This is totally different. This is American style, kind of drive from the Greek style, but this is all made in USA. Number two, lot size and lot utilization. Over an acre flat, okay? Beverly Hills, north of Sunset with incredible lot utilization, huge frontage, backyard, side yards, great setbacks. It's my number two. And the number one thing I love about this property, it's location. You're not just on one of the best streets in Beverly Hills. You're also in Beverly Hills, north of Sunset and you're Holmby Hills adjacent. Do you understand? It's it just a it check mark, check mark, check mark. The, best location with the services of Beverly Hills Police Department and Fire Department. But you know, you're rubbing shoulders with Homeby Hills. It's it, you don't have any uh, mansion tax associated with this. It's just as, as good as it gets, right? And all those crappy properties that I review that are listed around the same price, uh, you should look at this property as the benchmark for what it is on the market right now. I will rate this property a 10 uh, as far as what's available right now. This property should have the highest chance of selling if there's a buyer looking in this price bracket. Now, before I tell you what I don't like about this property, I've created an app called zipsmart.ai with cool dashboard that helps you make better real estate decisions. I'm gonna talk about it at the end of the video. Okay, Arvin, now there's gotta be something you don't like about Arvin. Well, there's one or maybe two. There's two that I, two things that could have been better. One is the fact that some of the ceiling heights are low. The volumes are good, the width is good, but as you can see, this is a really easy way to spot low ceilings, by the way. If you see the photographer coming too close to the counter to position the camera mid-level between the ceiling to make the room look bigger, you can tell it has lower ceiling. Another tell is the space between the top of the doors, because doors are normally standard, and the ceiling. That space is low and that tells you in the pictures that it has not the highest ceiling everywhere. That is a negative. And probably even worse than that is the fact that it's kind of north facing or also northwest facing. And that's just not ideal. You're not going to get as much sun as a south facing house. There's no sugar coating yet. I, look, I know you're like, Arvin, this is perfect. Look, I see the fecal matter. Remember, that's my job. And that's why you subscribe to my channel. That's why you hit the like button, because I tell the truth and only the truth. Now, what you don't know about this Beverly Hills also, according to zipsmart.ai, there is 1.99% of all the houses that are available, exist in Beverly Hills, are for sale, close to 2%. And that is high, not historically, but for the past four or five years, that number has been much, much lower. It's a number that Zipsmart tracks. And if you want to check it out for yourself, visit zipsmart.ai before version 3.0 release comes out, which I raise the prices because it's revolutionarily different than version 2.0 and it's just awesome. So if you want to support me, support the channel, that's a great way to do so. And I thank you for that.